freezing of some phalasma. Some phalasma removal by freezing. In this section, what we're going to actually discuss is, first of all, we're going to read out this freezing trans sun phalasma treatment, and then we're going to make our considerations. So you'll find this webpage on sunphalasmaremoval.com. Sun phalasma removal by freezing. This removal treatment involves freezing the sun phalasma with liquid nitrogen or another chemical, which is also known as cryotherapy. The liquid nitrogen treatment has been proposed as a possible sun phalasma removal treatment for freezing. Liquid nitrogen sun phalasma treatment is referred to as cryo sun phalasma ablation and you will see this option come up from time to time. However, the dangers of applying extreme low temperatures to your eyelids and the this disappointing results have made this removal treatment the least favored. It is simply too dangerous, destruct destructive and the results are unreliable. What is cryoablation? Cryoablation is the use of extreme cold in order to destroy abnormal or diseased tissue uh, cells. In this treatment, the liquid nitrogen is applied to the skin in order to break the cell walls. The liquid nitrogen also causes damage to the microvascular circulation, which results in secondary anoxia and hemorrhagic necrosis. Ideally, this will damage and kill the offending cells and solve the problem. It's mainly actually killing cells by freezing. Cryoablation is similar to acute frostbite due to, due to its intense delivery and dramatic results. This form of skin treatment is the best for large areas of the skin and can be of beneficial for can be beneficial for wrinkle control and skin resurfacing is a treatment option for some phalasma it is far more dangerous and the negatives greatly outweigh the positives for these reasons it has been recently widely discarded this advantage of freezing cryoablation treatment the application of liquid nitrogen does Sting. Although it's cold, many describe the procedure as a feeling of burning, a burning sensation. Cryoablation can cause treatment sites to appear permanently lighter in color, which is hypopigmentation. Extra caution must be used when treating the face and any other cosmetically sensitive area. It is only appropriate to remove skin lesions from parts of the body that are not as delicate as the eyelids. It's generally effective for the treatment of fully developed skin cancers or deep lesions such as large moles, moles which grow on other parts of the body away from the eyelid area. Depending on how it is applied, and the location of the treatment site, blisters will sometimes form in, uh, in days following the treatment, more common on the eyelids. What is liquid nitrogen regularly used for? Liquid nitrogen, due to its low reactivity and low temperature, is used for various applications. Some of its applications include cryotherapy when removing cancer and benign skin lesions. Skin therapies is not the only one of them. For example, freezing and transportation of food product, cryopreservation of biological samples like eggs, sperm, animal genetic samples, coolant for computer, vacuum pumps and other equipment, preventing of materials from oxygen exposure, quick freezing of water or pipes to make uh, working on them easy when valves aren't available, 
is a source of very dry nitrogen gas for branding cattle, cooling material to enable easier machining or fracturing. Science projects like freezing of flowers, liquid nitrogen, ice cream, and then watching them shattered when tapped onto the hard surface to make nitrogen fog. Is liquid nitrogen a good treatment for some plasma, therefore? In simple and short words, no. It is not effective or good treatment. Cryoablation destroys all of the cell. That is it. Cryoablation destroys all of the cells that it comes in contact with. The resulting injury will be worse than the original problem. In the case of liquid nitrogen and some plasma removal, the cryoablation technique can penetrate right through the eyelids and can cause painful and dangerous free burn, uh, burns on the eyeball itself. Do not risk your vision. It is a risky treatment option. So basically, the commentary to this article on sunplasmaremoval.com. It's very simple. Cryotherapy is good for skin lesion removal, uh, skin lesions that um, are removed for aesthetic reasons or uh, skin cancer has been used for this, these applications for several years. But even for skin lesions removal, it hasn't been very widely used anymore, especially in recent years, because there's many other options, including, including the application of uh, electrical arcing uh, in order to remove whatever lesions you want really quickly. But simply, um, it is not cost, effect cost effectively to remove uh, skin lesions uh, anymore because other techniques are far more, um, far cheaper and, um, and easier to, uh, uh, to use. And the, the effect of the, uh, the cold, the deep cold, um, that liquid nitrogen and cryotherapy uh, can cause to the eyeballs are uh, not a good a idea whatsoever. So um, it is an option that which has been considered for sun plasma removal, but not implemented at all. But you can find some articles talking about it, but it's, uh, it's far not, it's actually not convenient whatsoever in order to remove some phalasma because as you know some phalasma grow on the upper eyelid area lower eyelid area and the eye uh, area anyway so you've got to be quite careful about applying deep freezing and frost biting to those areas because they can actually affect the eyeball so this is all we hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next for more information go to sanfalasmarimobile.com